Hello everyone, today we are starting the topic of uh, BJTs or bipolar junction transistors. So BJTs are three terminal devices that can be used in a variety of applications like signal amplifications, design of digital logic circuits and memory circuits. The basic principle is in applying a voltage between two terminals to control the current flowing in the third terminal. So you can use this principle to generate a voltage controlled current source uh, for the purpose of using it in the uh, amplifiers or to you to change the current from a large value to current equal to zero that can be used for building uh, switches and to be used in digital logic circuits so transist bjt transistors come into two types npn and pmp transistors so in an npn type semiconductor transistor uh, a p-type semiconductor is sandwiched between uh, two n-type semiconductors and in a pmp transistor an n-type semiconductor is between is placed between two p-type semiconductors so uh, here is a picture of implementation of an, uh, an NPN transistor on an, on an IC. So as you can see in the picture, the base region, which is the region between collector and emitter, it's thin, and this region between base, uh, between emitter and the collector is thin, and the emitter is heavily doped. This region, this emitter region, is going to be heavily doped, and um, the collector is a, has a large area. So, um, BJT, uh, BJTs have uh, six circuit variables, three current variables, and three voltage variables. Uh, but um, using Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law, we can uh, write two of them in terms of four other parameters. So uh, we have I base, I collector, and I emitter. And using current uh, Kirchhoff's current law, we can write IE. Equal to, equals to I collector plus I base. So I base and I collector enter the device and I E leaves the device. And, and the KVL tells me that voltage between base and emitter, this VBE, VBC equals to VBE minus minus VCE. So that's what I get from KVL. So um, uh, BJT IV characteristics is the relationship among I base, I collector, V base emitter and V collector emitter. And uh, just one note, when we write VCE, we mean V collector minus V emitter. So to solve BJT problems, we're going to use a linear model but the IV equations of VJT transistors, because they consist of PN junctions, uh, they, these IV equations are non-linear and they have an exponential format. So uh, take a look at the linear model. We're going to go back, come back to this uh, model to use these equations to solve them. Uh, but in order to understand the operation of BJTs, we're going to go with the uh, nonlinear equations. So in general, BJTs have three regions of operations. When uh, they are in, they might be in cutoff region, in active region, or in the saturation region, which we're going to use the deep saturation region for our purpose of uh, analysis. The um, uh, BJT transistors. So uh, let's look at the active region of active mode of BJT operation. So <clears throat> in the active mode, base emitter is going to be forward bias. Base emitter junction is going to be forward bias, as you can see here. And that means voltage between base and emitter is, has a positive value equal to equals to VD naught. And because the emitter is heavily doped, 
and superscript plus means it's heavily doped. It's an n, n type semiconductor, but it, but it is heavily doped. A large number of electrons diffuse to the base and get close to the vicinity of base collector junction. They, they enter this junction. And some of them, some of these electrons uh, are combined with the holes in the p-type semiconductor in the base, but it is thin, but the base is thin and it is lightly doped. So only a small number of, a small part of electrons combined with the um, holes and the, at the p-type semiconductor. And now if you apply a positive voltage at the collector or when V collector to base is a positive uh, value, then this PN junction, this base collector is going to be reverse biased and this positive uh, voltage across the, at the collector terminal is gonna sweep the electrons that are uh, that the vicinity of B base collector junction, that it's going to sweep the electrons emitter electrons to the collector terminal and generate the current that's equal to IC collector current. So uh, for in the active mode, the base emitter junction is forward biased and collector base junction is reverse bias or VCB is greater than zero. And I see the collector current is equal to a constant value I saturation multiplied by um, an exponential term that relates that's dependent on the base emitter jump bias so in this picture um, I see is independent of voltage of base collector and voltage of collector emitter as long as the base collector junction is reverse biased so I can write V collector to emitter equals to using this KVL V collector to base plus V base to emitter and as long as uh, this V collector to base has a positive value then V collector emitter is going to be greater than or equal to VD0 because VBE is equal to 0.7 volts. This uh, base emitter junction is forward bias and the diode, that diode is on, so VBE is equal to 0.7 volts. That means V collector emitter is greater than or equal to VD0. So as long as V collector emitter is greater than or equal to VD0, the base collector junction is going to be reverse biased and uh, you're going to, the transistor is going to act in the active mode. Uh, also, base current is proportional to this exponential and as a result, it's proportional to IC uh, and IB is IC divided by beta. Beta is um, a transistor parameter, it's called the current gain. Uh, so IB can be expressed as a fraction of the collector current. So the next mode is the cutoff mode in BJT operation. Um, since the operation of a BJT requires the presence of emitter generated electrons near the base collector junction, uh, the base the emitter junction should be forward biased. So a BJT is called to be in cutoff mode if the base emitter junction is not forward biased. In that case, IB is going to be equal to zero. I collector is also equal to zero, regardless of any voltage that you apply to the base collector junction. Because the base emitter junction is not forward biased, the, the BJT is going to be in cutoff or off mode. Uh, the third region of operation is in this is the saturation mode. In that region, the transistor is on, and B base emitter junction is forward bias. VBE is equal to this VBE is equal to 0.7 volts, um, but collector base is forward biased. 
in other words b cb is less than or equal to zero uh, if it if it happens if this base to collector junction is forward bias then some of the electrons uh, are going to move from diffuse from collector to the base and reduce the collector current so in this uh, saturation region v sub c e is between 0.1 and 0.3 volts and for the case of silicon it is equal to 0.2 volts about 0.2 volts and that's called v saturation for the silicon diode in this mode of operation i c i sub c is smaller than its active mode level so it's smaller than beta times i b and uh, in this mode IC is saturated and it is set by the outside circuit doesn't respond to the changes in IB so you lost control on the collector current by changing the base current